Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Bizoku. Bazel is a build tool that supports many languages and many platforms. It works really well if you have a monorepo with many services that even use different languages and different technologies. Heroku is a platform as a service that allows you to easily deploy your applications to the cloud. Traditionally, these two haven't really worked very well together, and that's mainly due to the way that Heroku detects app types and the way that a Bazel repository is organized. So Bazoku aims to solve this problem. Bazoku is a Bazel rule set that you can bring into your workspace and create targets using their rule. So I have an example workspace set up and I'm going to deploy to Heroku using Bazoku from my local machine and also from a GitHub action. So I'm just gonna copy um, this here to bring it into my workspace. I'm gonna put this to the bottom of my workspace file. So this is just bringing in Bizoku at version 010, and it's pulling in the Bizoku dependencies. Next, we can see the usage. So I actually already have my own Go binary, so I won't need that, but I'm gonna bring this in to my build file. I can get rid of that Go binary, and I'm gonna bring the load to the top. So now we can see um, what Bazooka requires, a name, a Heroku app name, and a binary. So we're gonna be able to use this Go Web binary, first of all. For the app name, this needs to be an existing app name in Heroku. So I already have an app set up. It's called My Bazooka App. So I'm just gonna use that. So let's just put that in. So we're now ready to use Bazooka to deploy to Heroku. There's one caveat, which is explained in the Bazooka readme. And that's because I'm building on a Mac machine and Heroku uses a Linux architecture. So by default, when I try to build on my machine, it's gonna build a binary that's compatible with a Mac machine. But because I'm deploying to Heroku, I need my binary to be compatible with Linux. So I need to add this platforms flag whenever I'm running the deployment. And this platforms flag is gonna make the binary built compatible with Linux. So let's just do Bazel run. And you can see here, I'm running the GoWeb Bazooka deployment target, and I'm passing in this platforms flag. So you can see here that my app was deployed to Heroku. I'm able to look at that here, and it just returns hello world. So that was deploying from local. So now I want to try to deploy from a GitHub action. So I actually already have a GitHub action set up. You can see that here. And in the end, it just runs this Bazooka deployment target. And notice that we don't need the platforms flag now because this GitHub action is gonna run on a Linux machine. So it's gonna build for Linux. We don't need to explicitly say to build this for a Linux machine. So let's make one change to our application. Let's just say Bizoku is cool. And my GitHub action detects whenever something has been pushed to main. This can be a direct push or it can be a pull request merge. And once that happens, this action is gonna be carried out. So let's just push directly to main. Let's push that. So we've pushed to main now. If we go back over to our repository, just to show you the Bazoku app, still just says hello world. If we go over here and we see actions, we can see that this action has started. We can go in, we can see what's happening. So we can see the deployment successfully happen now. If we go back over to our app and refresh, we can see it has our update. So we've been able to deploy to Heroku from our local machine and from a GitHub action using Bazoku for a Bazel workspace. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.